Right now I'm on the phone with Tony, who's the owner of Coach 1731. Tony, how you doing today, sir? I'm great, how are you doing today? Excellent, thank you. Congratulations on taking delivery of this beautiful Newell coach. Appreciate you taking the time to share with us your inspiration of this coach. This paint job is unlike any other paint job I've seen. Uh, how did you come up with this uh, paint design? Well, it was a lot of thoughts trying to get a vision. Susan and I were really wanting our paint job to be unique. And we did a lot of time searching the internet, just looking at different coaches, and uh, really struggled for a long time to come up with a scheme. Uh, and then Neil hired Ryan Louts to to take over their designs. I think we're number seven for him. And so we started discussing designs with him and kept going back and forth. And it finally just hit us one day. We are, um, we're huge boaters. We spent a lot, for the last seven years a lot of time in South Florida and traveling over to the Bahamas in our boat and just, just huge water lovers. So we tried to come up with something that maybe we could take the water with us, for lack of better terms. not have a nautical theme because we're going to someday we'll sell this coach hopefully get another newel and we didn't want it to make it a challenge to sell because we were so unique to us and no one would appreciate it so that's kind of what we did we sent some uh, photos to ryan of some water shots and he was able to incorporate that into the stenciling and the ghosting and so some, there's quite a few areas on the boat that we know it's somewhat like of a water look with some maybe foam in the water from a boat wake or certain things and um I just think it knocked it out of the park. It just turned out beautiful, and we know what it is, but you know, if we don't tell you, you might not even have any idea what it is, but it's just something special to us. Yeah, you definitely did a great job working with Ryan and the team at Newell. I'm extremely impressed with this design. I think it's probably my favorite Newell coach design to date uh, as far as the paint scheme, just incredible. Now, there's some other cool stuff that you were sharing with me about uh, the front end of the coach. Uh, what's what's different about this than any other coach we've seen? Well, one thing that uh, Susan and I kept going back and forth on was uh, when we looked at photos online, we looked at other other makers, com competitors. Is it just some of the Newell's uh, with Newell has their their I guess for like it was their insignia in the front where it's lit and it says Newell, mm -hmm. which is really cool. But it seems like to me that sometimes it can be disruptive to certain paint schemes. And we knew what we wanted on the front of the coach. Well, Susan drew, she had a lot of drawings where she was drawing things. She's pretty artistic. And then her and Ryan went back and forth. Um, so we knew what we wanted on the front. And so we were wanting to eliminate the, the area on the front of the coaches that have the newel where it's lit. Um, and so we had to get on the horn with Grant. Me and Grant arm wrestled, arm wrestled for a couple of days because he didn't want to do it. <laughs> Finally, um, I, we, we got, come up with a game plan, and uh, they, so they still put the Newell name on the front, which looks great. We definitely wanted that. We're proud to have a Newell. We just didn't want our paint job to get chopped. So that's kind of how we ended up at that. It really came out great, I think, and I had a chance to see it at the factory before they put the Newell coach badge uh, you know, over the paint scheme, but I think it just all – really tied together well uh, now you were also mentioning something and i noticed it when i was uh when i saw your coach well it was at the end of production there some of the marker lights uh, a lot of marker lights what's the whole story on that I'm a, I'm a huge car guy and we also uh have a trucking company and one of the things that's kind of neat to me at night is to uh, when you meet a tractor trailer sometimes at night and these guys have taken the time and they have pride in their rigs and you see these have tons of tons of lights going down the trailers and around their uh, tractor i think that looks pretty neat so we wanted something to kind of identify that way but not um over the top so i think newell typically does three lights across the top and i think three across the bottom counting the corners and so we went we did seven and i was concerned about having seven on the top seven on the bottom with the amber lens showing up with too much amber interfering with the paint job so nate over at uh, newell was able to locate some uh, light marker lights that had the clear lens cover on them 
and they have the chrome bezels and then they have the amber bulbs so during the day all you see is a chrome bezel with a clear lens cover which really kind of blends in and then at nighttime she looks phenomenal when she's all lit up with the marker lights on i haven't seen it at night yet but i'm looking forward to seeing a picture of that i agree with you nothing nothing like a, a lit up tractor trailer going down the road so looking forward to seeing this you definitely uh just knocked it out of the park with the design on the paint scheme now what made you decide newell coach over other rvs that's a good question we we were actually leaning hard toward one of the bus conversion companies prior to newell and we started uh, really doing our homework on the internet and youtube i found your channel watched quite a few of your videos and i think one of the videos that really convinced us to go to the newell factory was the one you did with mark mark um i don't know a year or so ago yes sir and Yep, so that video, we watched that. Uh, we're huge NAS NASCAR folks. We're from Charlotte, so uh, we know a few of the guys. And we decided to go to the factory. So last October, we went out to the new factory to do the tour, and that was that was the deal for us. We didn't need to do anything else. It was just to see the you're part of their family, um, the way they treat their customers, even even the fact that if you buy a used mule coach today that's 10 years old, you still get the same treatment with their 1-800 number. I mean, that's that's phenomenal. So to know that you're part of a service team that, that has a culture like that is just, it, it's pretty much sold. Of course, the quality. I mean, they're, they're phenomenal coaches. That was, that we never really thought about the quality being an issue. It was more about getting out there and seeing how they treat everyone. It's just, their culture is, is great. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And how was the whole delivery uh, experience there in Miami, Oklahoma? <laughs> it was great, but here's the term I use for it. It's like drinking from a fire hose for two days. I mean, yes, it, sir. it's a lot. <laughs> it's yeah. A lot. yeah, you've yeah. got a pretty complex yeah. machine there. But now, yes. how how long have you had the coach for now since you took delivery, and how, how has everything been working on it? We're like two weeks and two days in, uh, I think 1,200 miles. Uh, we, we left, uh, and one of the things they require, not require, they uh, request is you do a shakedown trip. So we stay two nights at their place. They have their hookups there, so we stay two nights there to kind of just listen for noises, anything they might have, might have missed. And then we stay two nights at an RV resort near there, a regatta on the Grand, I think it's called. Yes, sir. And then we stayed, uh, went two nights to Branson, Missouri, which is a couple hour drive away. And then that Monday morning, we, we drive back to Newell and they do a couple tweaks. We had a little small punch list. They work on those items. And then we, we headed back toward the Carolinas. We're in Mountain Falls right now. And uh, we'll be back in the Charlotte area next uh next tuesday but everything's great um a couple little punch items which is to be expected on a, something this complex but um she, she's running great she's got plenty of power and yeah we yeah. couldn't be more happier nice the interior as well um i'm gonna do a full tour with phil cornelius but what uh was there any inspiration to the interior did you bring that marine theme into the interior or not really, um, and that was all my wife Susan and Amber. Um, I'm not allowed to talk about <laughs> colors, and I'm colorblind anyway, so it's a big <laughs> joke. I work, I do the outside, and she does the inside. That's our, that's how we, that's how we make it work. Her and Amber just, just dialed it in. And uh, one thing we wanted to do was, as far as color palette, um, is tie the inside to the outside, because a lot of times you'll see. Maybe not as much today, but a lot of the older coaches you see, once again, across the board, not just Gill, is the outside will be one color scheme, and the inside has no relation to it at all. And you just kind of scratch your head about that. It doesn't make sense to us. So hopefully the feel is this: the inside's tied to the outside, and the inside is just phenomenal, too. It's like everything about it, you just look at it, and you're like, wow, this, they just did an awesome job. How beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's, it's truly a piece of artwork. And speaking of artwork, I noticed there was uh, three paintings, I believe, that really tied the inside and the outside together. When you designed or were going through the design process, did you and your wife have any influence on those paintings? No, um, Amber had asked us about that, and it was kind of the opposite. Amber knew that what our paint scheme was about as far as what we were trying to achieve on the exterior. And uh, we asked her just to let the lady that they use that, that does the paintings for them just to, just to surprise us. And she did. She did. A, <laughs> once again, it's, you look at it. We know what it is. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, she did a great job. Well, uh, you and your wife did just a phenomenal job working with the team at Newell Coach and designing this coach. I'm extremely impressed overall. Uh, is, is there any advice that you might have for folks out on YouTube that might be thinking about purchasing a new coach? Just, uh, just do your homework. And if you're if you're in the market for a a custom coach and the price point of a new or one of these custom companies, 
definitely treat yourself to go to the Newell factory before you make a decision. Do not make the mistake of not going there because once you go there, it's, it's an eye opener. And uh, I would definitely highly recommend that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with you. The team there at Newell in Miami, Oklahoma is, is top shelf. Tony, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to share your story uh, with me and the folks out on YouTube. And I uh, appreciate you sharing that with us, sir. Thanks for everything you do on YouTube. It's been uh, very educational. Well, I greatly appreciate it, sir, and we'll definitely be in touch. All right, take so, care. And thank you to all of you out there on YouTube that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day.